Hey, it's the Moon Goddess Oracle. I am back for the Pisces reading. I am trying to get through these October readings, um, you know, just so people can have some insight of what to look forward to um, throughout the rest of October. Check your sun, moon, and rising. Um, the way I do readings, it may or may not resonate with you. This is a general reading, um, so take what you can get. Um, if you didn't get the message that you were looking for, this reading necessarily may not have been for you. But again, check your sun, moon, and rising, okay? Uh-oh, that fell out. That one fell out, so we're going to go through that one. Okay. That one fell out. Alrighty, Pisces, what I'm seeing is that you're in a bit of a emotional... Um, relationship right now and you there are some things you're trying not to ignore you want to so very much let things go but you can't ignore it you don't know how to deal with it um but at the same time <clears throat> whatever the situation is um once you talk about it and uh get it out there in the air you'll feel a lot much better you'll come out on top you'll feel like you weren't um, very much disturbed after all. It's going to work out for you. Um, and then, Pisces, you're going to come into some more chaos. That's just how it happens. Um, you guys are very emotional creatures. So, one minute you're up, one minute you're down. Um, so, there's going to be some chaotic and traumatic uh, moments to take place throughout the rest of this month here. So, be on guard and just be prepared for it, okay? Also, Pisces, it looks like you are... Oops, Pisces, it looks like you've been a little bit of a gossiper um, this month. And I'll tell you right now, if you continue to gossip, that stuff is going to come back and the finger is going to be automatically pointed at you. You can't put the blame on anyone else. That, that, that's going to come back straight to you. Um, I see some Pisces out there are getting a handle on their emotions. Um, the fall time is here, you know. The weather is a little bit more chipper, a lot more nice and cool. Um, whereas the summertime, you feel a little makes you feel a little bit more agitated. So um, it looks like some of you are basically coming out of your feelings uh, throughout the rest of this month. All right, um, some of you are shooting your shot a little bit too hard. Um, some Pisces, there are just some. Um, some Pisces, uh, I mean, there are people out there who are just not feeling the way you are coming on. Very, very strong Pisces. So tone it down just a little bit. Just a little bit. Um, I see a lot of Pisces out there also having issues with, it's not really an issue, but you are dealing with that. It looks like you're dealing with that sad mouth teenager. Um, you don't know how to control it, but I do see you sitting around and constantly trying to think of how to make it work for you um, and not seem like, you know, the child is or that teenager is specifically running you around and having you uh, feel out of place and making you feel like you're not a parent. You are a parent, Pisces. Don't, don't, don't give up. Don't let the child win. And then there are just some of you Pisces out there that have just pretty much thrown in the towel. Like, all right, I'm done with all this madness that's going on right now. Um, you know, the new moon took effect, so it's okay to feel that way. Um, just know you won't feel that way for long. Um, but it looks like you've thrown in the towel a lot of things because you felt defeated for so long. But right now, you're some of you are standing in your power and are just kind of like, I'm not going to feel like that. I'm not going to continue to feel like this. I see a lot of you, this is a Pisces woman, a lot of you are preparing a garden. It's pretty interesting. Or you are actually no, your garden flourished, flourished wonderfully, beautifully. So you getting ready. I see some of you are showing you guys are showing it off to your family members, like, oh look what I grew from my garden, fresh. Uh, I, no, that's too cute. So, you guys are enjoying your fresh fruits, possibly a lot of vegans out there that have just decided to start their own garden and they ain't buying that stuff out the store. <laughs> the coin is pretty good for you Pisces this month, getting ready for the holidays. To whom much is given, much is required. All right, Pisces, so that came to me because... Um, 
either you or the person that you are dating feels like you're not doing enough. And one of you feel like you are the one doing enough. So it's, it's an imbalance there. That's what I'm seeing. It's an imbalance. Um, and if one of you does not begin to, and I feel like it's you, if one of you does not get it together and get this thing balanced, that person walking away, plain and simple. Um, get out your head, Pisces. Get out your head. Um, it seems to be there are a bit of things bothering you, um, career, relationship. Something you've done, something you did, and you're just not coming to uh, cope with it. Um, do know that there are better days ahead. Um, there's a lot of hiding, Pisces. I feel like a lot of you are hiding from something or someone, and um, or you're you're hiding who you are. You don't want to show um, your true colors, your true feelings, but it's okay to be yourself. It is okay. You're going to have to get comfortable in the skin that you are in. Um, let everything work out for you. If you're continuously hiding from things, the things that you are wanting to work in your favor are not going to come into fruition, okay? And that is that. Stop um, teeter-tattering. Looks like you are, I said teeter-tatter. You back and forth with somebody. You're not getting along with someone and I feel like it's an air sign. Um, yeah, it's definitely our air sign. You are not getting along with someone at the moment. This could be a family member, um, co-parenting. I feel like co-parent, that's what I'm seeing. Co-parent, uh, th and this person, again, is an air sign. Yeah, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aquarius. And then there are some Pisces out there who have... Um, um, who are very satisfied with themselves right now. They feel like they have had a great year so far. They have defeated the things that they have needed to defeat. And going into this upcoming year, 2019, they're not letting anything stop them. Go ahead, Pisces. So, yeah, the cards are looking good. Um, a, lot of, a lot of wands coming up for you, Pisces, which is pretty interesting. But you got some things in the works. So you guys are definitely looking forward to next year. All right. There's that coin. So you guys are, um, there's some of you who are out there really, really, really focusing on the next move. Um, you feel like this year has been going great so so far um, with a few bumps in the road. I mean, I don't know nobody that's had a very, very perfect year. But you guys so far have had a great year. It looks like everything you've been wanting, you are getting. Um, you're just letting a few small things get to you and um but at this at, but you know what you need to do you know that you can't let these things get to you that you are um you you going for the coin you going for what's at the top you are not stopping at anything less than what you want and beyond that all right that's all i have for you pisces um feel free to uh check the website truefaces.com if you want a more intricate personal reading um you can book there um also just subscribe subscribe to the channel um pass it along share with your friends provide feedback if you have um any questions comments and concerns all right until next time thank you